What's up, everyone? It's time for the NHL All-Star Mock Draft. We're going to be showing you a little preview of how things might go down at NHL All-Star Thursday in Toronto when the actual players choose their team. So let's kick it off. No further waiting. Starting off with the best team. I'm just a tad bit biased. The Hughes brothers, as you've never seen us before. I'm your de facto host, Anna Dua, and I'm here with NHL Fantasy's Pete Jensen. How are you feeling, Pete? What's going on, Anna? Yeah, happy to rep the NHL Fantasy on Ice team. Also, the Hughes family. And really excited about all the festivities going down in Toronto. Yeah, we're taking over the NHL just a little bit, but there's still one player who's at the top. Probably the best player in the entire world, Connor McDavid, also known as NHL.com's David Satriano. How are you, Dave? I'm very good. I like that I'm referred to as the best player when I'm the only one with the person Corey Schneider here my teammate played in the NHL so hopefully uh, he's got some insight on some of these guys yeah we've got NHL Network's Corey Schneider here and Corey you're probably the only person here who's actually qualified to do this do you have any tips for us pretending to be NHL players for the first time well the good news is that they're all all-stars so you can't really go wrong but I think David <laughs> and I are going to be able to get it right so that's the only issue we have Ooh, some <laughs> yes. fighting words out here early <laughs> now the yellow team two good Canadian boys led by NHL.com's Bill Price how are you feeling Bill I'm feeling great ready to go who are you playing I am Kale McCarr my partner here is Liam Cavan up in Nova Scotia he's one of the NHL power players and he of course being from Nova Scotia is Nathan McKinnon love to hear it how are you doing Liam are you excited yeah I'm doing great uh as a Nova Scotia boy myself I feel like I'm somewhat qualified to be Nathan McKinnon. Uh, maybe not as much as Corey is to pick the players as far as that's concerned, but uh, we're going to give it my best. So, Love to hear it. And wrapping it all up, last but certainly not least, our hometown host, Toronto's very own, the blue team of Austin Matthews, Morgan Riley, led by Sean Rourke from NHL.com, Eric Marin from NHL.com. Guys, take it away. Well, I'm playing Austin Matthews, and, and I, I, I got to object a little bit already, Anna. I'm upset. Best player in the world? <laughs> Have you seen how many goals I've scored this year? I think you need to reconsider. I was trying to be a little bit humble. We all know it's Jack Hughes. And Eric, how are you feeling right now? Feeling great. Happy to represent Morgan Riley and uh, get this thing started. Love to hear it. Now, I'm your de facto host. We also have a de facto commissioner, which is Bill Price. I don't know if this is cheating, guys, but Bill, take it away. Tell us what we're doing today. Well, we had a lot draft lottery at an undisclosed location in New Jersey a couple weeks ago. And the order selected was blue first, yellow second, white third, Red fourth, it is a snake draft, which means the Hughes brothers will pick fourth and fifth, and then we'll come back around, and Matthews and Riley will pick eighth and ninth, and we'll go from there. Everybody has one minute to make their pick, and if you take that time, you'll be mocked mercifully. Merci ugh. You'll be mocked. So anyway, uh, everyone's going to pick seven skaters and two goalies. Austin Matthews, Morgan Riley, you are on the clock. First of all, we'd like to thank the city of Toronto and all the fans that are tuned in for hosting this. We're not going to do a lot of suspense. We're not going to take the whole minute. We know who we're going with. It's the right pick, William Nylander of our Toronto Maple Leafs. Shocker, shocker, Willie Stiles first off the board. Moving right along, yellow team, you guys are off. Yeah, I'd like to thank Captain Obvious and co-captain Obvious for making that pick. Nice work. Uh, we have another obvious pick. I'm going to send it to Liam up in Nova Scotia to make the yellow team's first pick. All right, so uh, we are going to take, uh, well, we're going to put together the Tim Hortons commercial buddies. Uh, they're going to be back together for the first time in a couple years. Uh, so with Nathan McKinnon already there, we are going to take Sid the Kid, Sidney Crosby. Hometown reunion, you can't beat it. White team, please give me something that surprises me just a little bit. Well, Corey, I think we have the first real decision here to make. Um, I know we discussed this long and hard right before this draft, but there's a couple of guys we could take. Um, I'm thinking someone in Boston there by the name of David Pasternak might be good for us. Might be a goal scorer we could use. I heard he's uh, decent. I mean, right-handed guy to go with our lefty shots. I, I, I'm all in for that pick as a Boston guy, so hopefully my Patriots make the same decision at three and make a good pick this year. <laughs> no football talk here. I don't want to talk about football right now. Now, wrapping it all up, we're last, Pete, but certainly not least, the Hughes brother, maybe bringing a little bit of drama. Take it away. you got to go first. We'll go with another right wing here. I think he's the best player available, Nikita Kucherov. The guy has been absolutely electric this season for the Tampa Bay Lightning. 
top three in goals, top three in points, top three in shots on goal, and your NHL leader at the moment in power play points. Yeah, his numbers like kind of speak for themselves. So underrated in the Hart Trophy conversation, but I think we're back on the board again since it's a snake draft and we have another pick coming up. Now, I chose this one because Pete's pretending to be Quinn Hughes and he wanted to go with the Canuck, but we decided to find some middle ground and we're selecting Brady Kachuk. So my brother wow. Quinn played with Brady Kachuk in the U.S. National Team Development Program. Brady top 15 in the NHL and hits top 10 in shots on goal this season. The guy's a stud. So excited to have him on our team. Well, moving on, I think it's uh, Corey and my turn again. Now, we have three of the top scorers in the last five years in the NHL, so I'm thinking we might need a goalie. There's someone out there that played on the Canucks and also went to BC, and it's not you, so I think maybe uh, you think we should maybe go for, go for him. I think Pastor Dems is a good pick. Maybe going off the board here with the goalie, but you got to keep the puck out of the net, too, in the All-Star game, so I feel pretty confident with a BC-Vancouver guy. You know, feels really comfortable for me. I like that. Okay. Corey Schneider uh, 2.0. No, no, offense, no offense to Corey, but a goalie going sixth is ridiculous. Oh, anyway, oh. no, I'm just kidding. So we're going to play a little spoiler here. We're going to ruin the Maple Leafs party. We are wow. going to take Mitch Marner with the seventh pick to be on Team Yellow. We have to add a little drama to this All-Star game. You can't have all the Leaf guys on one team. <laughs> so fair enough, Bill. Guys, good. you're getting your teammates stolen from you, Blue Team. Is that who you were going to take next? It's not who we were going to take. Whoa, Mitch being left out. We already, have, uh, we already have Willie Stiles, who's a Swede. And as Morgan Riley's from Vancouver, we're going to go with Elias Pettersson. I like it. He deserves to be taken this high for sure. Great pickup by the Blue Team. Got some Canucks off the board, got some Leafs off the board, a very Canadian all-star indeed that's happening in Toronto. So before we continue, let's take a look at who's been selected so far for each team. The blue team, Austin Matthews, Morgan Riley, their captains added teammate William Nylander and Elias Pettersson from the Vancouver Canucks. Next up, we have the yellow team, Nathan McKinnon and Kale McCarr. They added Nova Scotia boy Sidney Crosby and Toronto's Mitch Marner to their squad. The white team's up next. Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl added David Pasternak and the first goalie off the board, Thatcher Demko. Wrapping it all up with the red team, Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes. We added Nikita Kucherov and Brady Kachuk. Let's move it on. Blue team, back to you guys. Well, we're going to keep it Swedish, and we are going to add from Nashville, Philip Forsberg. Classic Maple Leafs adding the Swedes to their roster. Not shocked there. Yellow team, who do you guys got? I'll tell you, it's a great pick, surprisingly, uh, for the blue team. That's um, right, baby. For our third round, I'm going to send it up to Liam up in Nova Scotia to make the pick. Hey, uh, we are going to take the Russian goalie, one of the best goalies. I'd say the best goalie in the league, Igor Shesterkin. I like it. White team, you guys are on the clock. Who do you got? Uh, I'm going to send it to Corey here to make our, our selection in this round. Yeah, I think we're going to take, uh, I think he's been called the Austin Matthews of Florida and Sam Reinhart from the Florida Panthers. Yeah, he's not getting enough credit right there in the goal scoring race. Now it's our turn, wrapping it all up. And I'm getting a little bit of goalie fever right now. Pete, who are we selecting? We're going with the guy that is neck and neck right now in terms of the favorites for the Vezina Trophy. At the moment in the NHL, it's Connor Hellebuck for the surprising Winnipeg Jets and a guy that leads the NHL in save percentage and even strength save percentage, minimum 20 games. Love to hear it. And I think, Pete, we're back on the board, right? we got to deliberate who we want in this one, okay? Well, I think we've probably got to take a Canuck, go. right? Don't I really... do think we got to take a Canuck. You want to choose? I'll let you choose. Yeah, let's go with uh, JT Miller. He throws the body around a little bit. High shot volume. Top five in the league in scoring. Uh, magnificent season so far. And Quinn Hughes' teammate. So, trusted guy right there. So, we're getting the teammate connection going, too. White team, back to you guys. Uh, I think we're going to take someone that was Corey's teammate for a little bit there. And forward, Matthew Barzal seems like a good pick. Nice what he's, what he's been doing for them over his career. And, you know, he can definitely add something to our lineup. So I think it uh, seems like a good pick for us. You need to be more confident, white that. team. <laughs> Need to be more confident. Yellow team, I hope you bring a little bit more confidence than the white team just had. Well, they say defense wins championships. I don't know about all-star games, but they win championships. So in addition to having Cal McCarr on our team, we are going to add Rasmus Dahlin from the Buffalo Sabres. Solid pickup, solid pickup. Blue team, finish us off in this round. Well, I don't know if you've heard, but Arizona has become the state of hockey. 
saying Austin Matthews. Austin my Matthews my hometown. That. We're going to add to that a little bit with my good friend from the Arizona Coyotes. Clayton Keller? Sorry. Clayton Kelly. <laughs> this is little drama. Kelly. Built up a little drama there. The suspense is killing me. I was wondering who it was going to be, Clayton Keller. So two more players added to each of our teams. So let's recap it really quick. The blue team, we've got Austin Matthews, Morgan Riley, William Nylander, Elias Patterson, Philip Forsberg, and Clayton Keller. Next up on the yellow team, Nathan McKinnon, Kale McCarr selected Sidney Crosby, Mitch Marner, Igor Shesterkin, and Rasmus Dahlin. The white team, Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl selected David Pasternak, Thatcher Demko added Sam Reinhart and Matthew Barzell in this round. And the red team of Jack and Quinn Hughes selected Nikita Kucherov, Brady Kachuk, and in this round added Connor Hellebuck and JT Miller. Blue team, back to you guys. You are once again on the clock. Well, we're going to go to maybe one of the most underrated goal scorers in the league, just back from injury, going with Kyle Connor. Wow. I'm a little hurt by this pick, but good pick by you guys <laughs> nonetheless. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Yellow team, you guys are up. I'm going to go to Liam here. He's been texting me. He texted me your pick, and he also texted me, I can't believe how bad the blue team is. So, Liam, <laughs> take it away. Um, so, uh, we're going to veer away from the center and defenseman route, as we already have plenty of those. We are going to take uh, Kirill the Thrill out of Minnesota. Okay, I'm not loving this round so far at all. So <laughs> this is not going great for the red team, but solid pickup for the yellow team. I guess white team, you are next on the board. Please take your time as we recalibrate our strategy. Well, I'm just going to say that as, as Connor McDavid, one of my former junior teammates is still left on this draft board here. So Corey and I are going to select Alex Debrinkat as the newest member of the white team on, in the All-Star game. I like that. That's a solid pickup. A little off-season mover there. And now it's our turn, guys. Our strategy got a little bit hindered in this round, but you know what? I think we're going to start off by picking a division rival for Jack Hughes, and that's Sebastian Ajo of the Carolina Hurricanes. This guy flies under the radar all the time. One of the most consistent scorers, actually, over the past couple of seasons. Pete. Yeah, Sebastian Ajo, playoffs or regular season. He's always up to the task, so excited to see what he could do in this format uh, with all the stars aligning here in Toronto. Yeah, adding some Metro love to this draft so far. And Pete, I'll let you take it away. Well, this is a Canucks party, so we're inviting Brock Besser, one of the biggest surprising goal scorers of the season to date. And uh, the Canucks atop the league standings right now, so they deserve all this respect here. Yeah, top 10 in the league in goals, and someone who I know is a big fan of Brock Besser is the person who's selecting next, Davey Satriano. Yeah, that was a pick I wish we would have had, but we don't, so we move on. So, Corey, you'll make our next uh, pick here. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, with a guy who's I played against in the Metro Division, but Travis Konechny, I think he's been a, a good offensive engine for the Flyers, surprising Flyers this year. Yeah, the Flyers are really surprising everyone right now. They're still very much in a playoff spot. Bill Price, the yellow team, you guys are up next. Well, we said defense wins championships, goaltending wins championships, in three-on-three three puck possession wins. And how do you get the puck possession? You win face -off. So we are taking Vincent Trocek of the New York Rangers. Oh I like it. God. Put some respect on face-offs. Guys, they're very, very important. Blue team, finish us off in this round. Well, we need a goaltender. And we're going to go with the best one because he hasn't been picked yet. We're going to take Jake Ottinger. Kind of surprised he fell this slow, but great pickup for you. Might be the steal of the draft. Time for a little recap since we added two more players to each of our rosters, starting out with the blue team. They have William Nylander, Elias Pettersson, Philip Forsberg, Clayton Keller, Kyle Connor, and Jake Ottinger. Next up, the yellow team is on the board with Nathan McKinnon, Kale McCarr, Sidney Crosby, Mitch Marner, Igor Shesterkin, Rasmus Dahlin, and they added Kirill the Thrill Kaprizov and Vincent Trocek. The white team is up next. Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl lead the way. They added David Pasternak, Thatcher Demko, Sam Reinhart, Matt Barzell, Alex Dabrinkit, and Travis Konechny. And the red team, led by the Hughes brothers, we had Nikita Kucherov, Brady Kachuk, Connor Hellebuck, JT Miller, and this round, we added Sebastian Ajo and Brock Besser. Blue team, you guys are once again back on the clock. Just where we want to be, and I just want the world to know that we hold no grudges. <laughs> this guy got us pretty good last year in the playoffs. But we're going to take him and we're going to close out our goalies. Sergei Bobrovsky of the Florida Panthers. We know what he can do against the best players in the world, which is us. So he'll be even better against the rest of these guys. I like that description. We all know what he can do. Yellow team, you guys are up next. Did you just guys 
take two goalies back to back? We did. Sure did. Wow. <laughs> okay. Goalie run. <laughs> I'm going to throw this one up to Liam to make this pick. All right. Uh, we are going to go with the Canadian Canadian, uh, as he has not been taken yet. The center out of Montreal, Nick Suzuki. I like that pick. A very Canadian team over there with those two Canadian guys. White team, your turn. Well, Corey, I think, knows this better than anyone. When you have two of the best skaters in the world on your team, you need some jam so that they don't get checked and messed around there in your All-Star game. So I think Tom Wilson is going to be a good addition to our All-Star team here. Adding some physicality. Love a sandpaper. I like it. I like it. Now it's our turn. This time I let Pete go first. Pete, do you want to take it away? Sure. I love what Elias Lindholm has done this season uh, for the Flames through thick and thin. I also liked what he did a couple of seasons ago when he had Matthew Kachuk and Johnny Gaudreau as his elite line mates. So excited to see what he could do at the All-Star game, baby. I like Elias it. Elias Lindholm. I like it. I'm surprised he felt us this low. I feel like that's a sneaky pickup. Once again, it's our turn, and I feel like now we got to take another goalie, right, Pete? And we're taking a look at a Boston boy, Jeremy Swayman. He's been killing it for the Bruins this year. They're not falling off at a lot, and it's all credit to the way he's playing. Well, we need a goalie, too, and uh, sadly that that Boston guy fell. So, Corey, you can, you can select our last goalie here. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go with my contemporary in age, Cam Talbot out of L.A. Okay. We've shored up our goal. Like the goalies are going quick. They're going fast. Yellow team, you guys are up next on the clock. 60 seconds. Well, I've thought long and hard about this one. I loved this guy last year when he was on the New York Rangers, and he is probably one of the most underrated players in the league, having one of the best seasons in the league. From the Anaheim Ducks, Frank Vitrano. He's light Pick lamp. Spieler. <laughs> Left, right, and center. Seems like the Maple Leafs boys have something to say about that, but you guys are up on the clock with your next pick. What do we think? Got to huddle up here. A little baby doctor, maybe? You think so? Yeah. Is there a better one? He's gone. Well, right. we're waiting. <laughs> Let's do it. Go ahead. Well, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go West Coast again. It's been popular for us. Uh, we're gonna go with Tomas Hurdle, San Jose. I like it. Stole our pick, so we're even. Sorry, Bill. Only one player left for each team, so let's recap these past two rounds. Starting off with the blue team, they added Sergei Bobrovsky and Tomas Hurdle. Next up for the yellow team, they added Nick Suzuki and Frank Vitrano. For the white team, they added Tom Wilson and goalie Cam Talbot. And the red team, they added Elias Lindholm and Jeremy Swayman. Blue team, you guys are finishing us off. You're on the board. Before we make our last pick, we'd like to thank everybody in the world. We'd like to thank our celebrity <laughs> captain, Justin Bieber. I think he's going to be proud of our team when we're all done here. To round out our team, we're going to add a sneaky good sco scorer here in the last round, Robert Thomas of the St. Louis Blues. I like it's it. It's crime that he lasted this long. Your team is all wrapped up, yellow team. I think I know who your final pick is, well, but you can yes. tell us anything. We would like to thank everyone also, including our celebrity captain, Tate McRae, who will be playing the All-Star Game. We're very excited to see her show. Liam, take it away, our last pick. All right, our last pick. We desperately need a goalie, uh, so we are going to take Alexander Georgiev out of Colorado. Desperately need a goalie or now, had to add a goalie to your roster, And now guys. we have three avalanche on our team, oh. just like we planned it. A lot of former Rangers on there also. Kind of scripted over there. White team, <laughs> who was the last player you're picking? Well, uh, Corey, we, uh, we have a choice here. We can decide who Mr. Irrelevant is. So uh, you think we should go with Boone Jenner on our team or Oliver Bjorkstrand? I'll leave it up to you. Our last forward pick. Our last pick. Uh, you know, Boone Jenner's a captain and a veteran guy in the league, so I don't think I can leave him alone to be the last pick. So uh, we're going to go with like Boone it. Jenner, add a little bit to that sandpaper and grit we got yes. going on on Team team White. Love wow, it. Team White's like a powerhouse physically. They are a powerhouse now. Wrapping it all up. Drum roll, guys. Big surprise for the last pick of this draft. A guy Boone Jenner loved playing with back in Columbus, but now in the Seattle Kraken. Pete, do you want to announce the last pick? Yeah, let's do it. I also wanted to thank our celebrity captain, Michael Buble, who I heard through the grapevine plays fantasy hockey. So represent. We appreciate that support. Pete, Pete's uh, always plugging the fantasy content. <laughs> let's do it. So, And he I'll, likes to be called Hublet now. Hughes, Hughes Blay. Yeah, Hublet. <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> Denmark's own Oliver Bjorkstrand, high shot volume, Seattle Kraken are roaring into the all-star break, so excited to have Bjorkstrand on the club. I like it, guys. We're all wrapped up. Anyone have a steal of the draft that they have on their mind so far? I mean, I'm thinking I, about stealing this jersey and not giving I, it back. I think the steal was my partner here. The guy yeah. played with some of these guys, has all the knowledge. But also, we did forget to thank our, our celebrity captain, Will Arnett. Hopefully, we did him proud. I mean, we, Corey's got the jokes here, so Will probably was probably going to like it when he sees this, this team also. So. He's going to give you the, uh, the Batman voice, the Lego Batman voice. We're very happy, with, very happy with how it turned out here. Yeah, guys, I don't think it's very fair that the white team had Corey Schneider on this. Some insider information <laughs> in their selections over there. But overall, this was super fun. I think we all have some stacked teams. We'll see how the real players select at NHL All-Star Weekend, February 1st through 3rd, from the great city of Toronto, Ontario. Make sure to tune in to all of the festivities, including the draft once again on Thursday night. Thanks for joining us here today on the NHL All-Star Mock Draft.